Just joined by Dennis Hogan and James McCauley. How are things, lads? Good. Good. Uh, Dennis, uh, good weather and uh, he fine set up down here. Yeah, we've, we've it's been improving all the time, Davey. Um, it's, uh, I suppose there's no end to what you could keep doing, but we, we, we have a good operation and good facilities nowadays, so it's going good. And James, you're obviously happy with what Dennis does because you've uh, 10 horses down here now with Dennis. Oh, I shouldn't. The success speaks for itself. You know, we must be pushing on 25 winners now in the last 14, 15 months, so definitely. Um, big day on Saturday, lads. Uh, Royal Asuka, Golden Jubilee, Frankie de Tori on board, uh, Sceptical after coming off the back of his win in Nace. James, uh, very impressive horse. Tell us a little bit how he, he came about getting this horse in the horse and training sale for very little money. Yeah, a lot's been made of about how much he costs, but I mean, that's just uh, the formula that we tend to go by. They don't all work out, but I mean, everyone takes note of his price now because he's, you know, he looks to be a fair tool. And Dennis, you've been very obviously very happy with him since day one. He started off with uh, for you in Dundalk, where he won uh, three times up there, and then he went to Nace. Then is he an easy horse to train? Yeah, he's very straightforward actually, Davy. Um, even as as he, as a horse, with, his temperament is, is top class. Like he, you could put him anywhere in a race and anywhere in the gallop and settle, doing any doing any work. And I suppose that's a big help that he has an attitude to go with his ability. And James, there's not often you see a seven pound claimer riding in listed races on fancied horses and uh, Dennis is obviously uh, more than happy to be putting Joey Sheridan up on these horses uh, claiming seven and you're obviously very happy as well, he's a very good rider. Oh for sure, I mean Joey, he'll be a name that everybody, you know, he'll be a household name I've no doubt in the next couple of years, so absolutely no hesitation to put him up. And James, uh, Dennis you're very lucky, uh, Joey and Joe, two good lads that you have here in the yard. Yeah, very lucky there we, um, to have to have uh, Joe has a lot of experience and he started out kind of, he got his first winner for me when he when he started and then he moved to the UK and um, and to come across Joey Sheridan uh, with, with such talent um, is, is a massive boost to the end. So. Switching back to Nace, Dennis, were you expecting that, were you from the horse? Uh, we were really, Dave, yeah. He'd been, he'd been showing us that all winter and he'd been doing that in Dundalk. Um, Soviet and handicap company, so he, he did have to step up, but we thought he could, and he he done as well. And a big step up again, then obviously on Saturday. Then um, I know you did mention in the media that it was probably the extra few days rather than running yesterday against Patash and that. But is uh, the six furlongs as well? Is that 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 was obviously a big part of it as well? Yeah, it was it's probably ideal, but uh, we're not afraid of five furlongs either. Um, he's shown he can do that. Um, it was five and a half in May, so on a stiff track. Um, it could be stiff six in in Ascot, and um, no, I think we can mix it five or six. But um, I suppose thinking of the horse, the race Saturday was probably more suitable. James, exciting times ahead. Yeah, definitely. I mean, should we go up and see how he goes? He's booked his ticket himself, so see how he goes. Well, listen, Dennis, James, best of luck on Saturday. Cheers, Hopefully, Dave. you come back with a Group One winner. Please God, thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave.